uh, Monica Crowley is here. I find those numbers shocking. Yeah, well, that's, not insu that's not insurance. This is not what we were told by the president in his administ administration when he was forcing Obamacare down our throats, right? We heard premiums are going to go down, deductibles are going to go down, the average family is going to save between $2,500 and $3,000 a year under this plan. We've seen the exact opposite. And those of us who opposed Obamacare predicted this kind of thing. But to your point about lowering gas prices and why we're not seeing that traction in the actual economy, it's because the staples, Stuart, food, mm -hmm. fuel, and health care, the basic necessities of life, those prices, if you take gas out of it, the other two, food is going up, you go to the grocery store, and pretty much everything across the board is going up. Eggs, milk, chicken, beef, the things that you need to sustain life, and health care. Those health care costs are also going up. So what you're yeah. saving on one end with the gas prices, you're not, it's not translating for the average consumer because everything else is going up in terms of increased costs. I